Let's play No Man's Sky. I've got over 750 hours, and I've got all the achievements unlocked. So I have a little bit of background in the game. We'll play on uh, normal mode. Okay, you press E to start the game. That start screen took a while. Looks like it's going to be a cold environment. I see caves, so we can use the caves for cover. So we're going to take advantage of the caves. So the first thing we'll do is we'll head for the cave. To the, it's going to be to our right. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Multi-tool inlining laser attachment operational. WASD controls the direction. D to the right. User initialization sequence complete. So I'm using W. The only thing you have to watch out for in caves are these, uh, the toxic, there's some toxic things. Notice in the left, see it says my temperature levels are recovering. See the bar going up? If uh, you look here on the exosuit, You'll see that is the hazard protection. So cold and other elements will make your hazard protection go down. It takes sodium to refill that. Now it says on the lower right, use scanner to locate resources. If I press C to scan, it says it's critically damaged. And I'll need 75 ferrite dust. I right clicked. Use ferrite, uh, you get ferrite dust from rocks. So let's see. Uh, well, you know, I see carbon here. I pressed F and it says no analysis visor installed. So if you don't mind, I'm going to put, I'm going to left click put the analysis visor there. It takes carbon nanotubes. And if you look here, you click on that, nanotubes take 50 carbon. So if I left click, I'll shoot that with my laser, my multi-tool. So we want about 50 carbon. Okay. Now we can make nanotubes. And if you go to the multi-tool, that made the visor. If I hit F and left click, You see it gives me oxygen also now. Almost everything has a secondary element, but you'll have to use your scanner to get that. That's why I built the scanner first. 
my visor, I mean. I'm gonna mine this a little bit to get um, carbon and oxygen. Oxygen, by the way, will ref refill life support. And you also need the carbon to refill the mining beam. See? It's carbon. Technology recharge. So I'm going to get plenty of carbon so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to see if I can edit these out. So you don't have to watch me mining these. Now if I use my visor on the stalactites and stalagmites, silver is the second element. Cobalt can be used to make batteries with ferrite. Let me see. Ion batteries require cobalt and ferrite does. And they're useful to refill the hazard protection. So I'm going to mine a few of these while I'm here. The geodes give you more. I hit tab, go to my exosuit, left click. And if I hit E, analyze, you see it gives you more generally of what you were mining. Notice when I scan stuff, I also get units. There are three types of money in the game. There's units, nanites, and quicksilver. The red dots are usually fauna or animals. Let's see what these are. Oh, dihydrogen. Dihydrogen can be used to make life support gel and also launch fuel. Alright, a couple of hundred of those is a good start. Alright, we need ferrite. Those are usually in rocks. We need 75 ferrite to repair the scanner. All right, let's run out for a second and up. Now those hazardous flora will damage you. So you have to watch out for them. I was just fortunate to miss those. Now sodium will be useful see so carbon and sodium and oxygen okay oxygen refills life support carbon is your laser and uh, you also use these to build stuff um, and we need ferrite Those trees also give carbon. Those look like maybe rocks over there. Oh, here there's rocks. Awesome. We need 75 ferrite. I mean, we're going to need a lot of ferrite and a lot of carbon, a lot of oxygen, a lot of sodium, and a lot of dihydrogen. So, I mean, get as much as you can. From the cave, I'm not really taking any damage. So this is a good spot. All right. So I'm going to right-click. 
Now let me show you first how much I have. This is what I've mined. So I have enough to repair the tool. So if I use C. Ah, there's my starship. So we are going to run for that ship. And I'll use C. Yeah, I don't see any sodium. It does show hydrogen crystals. All right, let's run to the ship. I use the shift key to go quicker. All right, you see when I press C that NA, go by it and press E to scoop it up. Pressing E. Fade away. I'm gonna grab the dehydrogen. Now, if I press C, I can see if there's any um, sodium on the way. That's cool the way they have the ships. All right, watch where you're running. You see there's like a pit down there. So I may spend some time mining cobalt in there to make ion batteries. We'll need an Atlas Pass for these. We'll get that as soon as we can. I think it's worth it. Rusted metal can be put in a furnace to get ferrite. Twice the amount. The goop and the slime can be cooked over and over to, to get uh, nanites, which is one of the units of mining. Vessel emptied, cause sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared, I'll just broadcast. Broadcast received, traveler, anomaly detected. An anomaly is compliant, position log, system integrity, scan, initialized. The ships always have these oxygens nearby at your crash site. They let you make, um, I think it's for the, um, let you make one of the items you need to repair the ship. Iteration, online, Atlas connection, intermittent, Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. 
I'm not dead yet. And this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let me see, connect exosuit. Log unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit, connected. Suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Pulse engine needs a hermetic seal and a metal plating. So I hit tab. Now the starship has storage slots on it. If I hit X on this, I could put it in the starship. X starship. All right, so here we need 50 pure ferrite, one dihydrogen jelly, and that's for the launch thruster. And for the pulse engine, we need a hermetic seal and a metal plating. We don't even know how to make a hermetic seal yet. See, this is all we have. Okay, E to exit. It saves the game when you exit the ship, which is one reason to get to the metal ship. All right, it says collect ferrite dust. If you have enough, you can just make the metal plating. Let's take a minute and glance at the cave here. E to mark that. I F and scan. It'll give oxygen. I generally like to mine at least what I'm going to use to build stuff. So this way I'm always growing in the amount of carbon and ferrite that I have. Left click. Iteration, functional, starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components, pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Recommendation, iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. So I left click that, right click, D. Notice it places the symbol over this. E to use this. I peer inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. Take planetary chart. Tab. Press E to plot route. Now, usually there's a storm uh, when you're heading over there. So, well, let's do our best. Storm. 
Well, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I see a cave up there, so we're going to shelter in the cave. Uh, no. Okay, I'm in a bit of trouble. Using shift to try and go quicker. Let's grab that sodium and then I'll refill my thing. Tab, left click. some oxygen so let's refill this so we got nanite Accessing archive, six of seven logs corrupted, entry follows. No one, making this recording in case, gzz, leaving behind gzz, in the fabricator, gzz, might be of some use, gzz, visor damage, gzz, can't find ship. Recover supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Since we're near shelter, we'll collect a few resources before heading back. Scanning gives units and it also gives the second element on the things. The X means you need a more advanced laser probably. Okay, we collected a few items. Let's take a minute and recharge. If you want to see what I have, I have over 100 sodium, over 700 carbon. Let's refill the mining beam. You know, let's make an ion battery. It takes 10 cobalt and 5 ferrite. Let's make two more. 
that's just in case that will refill 100% of the hazard protection, whereas the sodium only refills a little bit at a time. Now if I press F, put it over that, F. so that's the way the plane is. Oh, this is a giveaway. Salvage data. Space bar to make the jet pack go. If you're falling a little bit and you do it just before, uh, you may be able to spare yourself damage. See, I got the hermetic seal from that thing. I also got the recipe for the hermetic seal. Left click, left click. Now dihydrogen jelly. We collected the dihydrogen already, so we can make the jelly with that. It takes 40 dihydrogen to make dihydrogen jelly. Pure ferrite, Z, click the refiner. Um, we need a metal plate, so if I do tab, I can make a metal plate. Then you put ferrite in the refiner. I don't want to do all my ferrite, so actually I'm going to do C to split it, and C to split it again. Mm, no. Actually, let's see how much we need. We need... Um, um, Fifty. So we need fifty ferrite, because ferrite goes to pure ferrite one to one. So C, C, fifty. You can just put the carbon in there. When you pick up the refiner, it'll give you the remaining carbon back. Left click, I'll drop it in my exosuit. Right click to get out. I use the middle mouse key to pick that up. E to go in. You see, I have pure ferrite now. So I'll put that in to repair the launch thruster. 50 pure ferrite. All right, what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm just gonna collect more carbon, ferrite, sodium oxygen, dihydrogen, maybe make some more batteries. I might make some life support gel, which is this made with dihydrogen jelly and carbon. That refills your uh, your life support 100% each one, 
and I may go mine some cobalt off camera. So it automatically saves the game. 